favourites. I cannot believe that this month has gone so quickly. Um, it seems like just yesterday that I was like sitting down at the beginning of the month writing down um, products that I wanted to include. Well, not the beginning, but like the middle of March um, after I'd used a few things and now I'm like filming it. So it's so insane. But um, anyways, I have quite a few things this month that I wanted to show you guys. So that's really good. Um, I'm going to start off firstly with hair care because I only have one hair care and one um, skincare product. But the first hair care product is the Pantene Pro-V um, Light Detangling Spray, which looks like this. Um, it's just basically a kind of leave-in conditioner slash detangling spray. I don't find it detangles as well as the one I, I used to use, which was from um, Garnier. It was the colour last one. But um, it is a, a decent detangling spray, and I do really like it because I like to just use kind of like a leave-in conditioner or something in my hair before I style it and um, brush it and stuff like that morning and night. So I've been using this one, and it is pretty decent, um, and I like the amount that you get. But yeah, so that's the first product that I've been liking. I would... Um, wouldn't necessarily recommend it if you have really, really bad like tangles and knots in your hair um, because it's not like it is a light detangling spray, so it's not going to be like too heavy on your hair. It's not going to work as well. Um, but if you just kind of like have a few tangles and your hair doesn't really get that bad, um, then I would recommend it. So that's the um, Pantene Pro-V Light Detangling Spray. Next off is skincare product. Um, this is the Trilogy um, Rosehip Oil, which looks like this. Probably all seen this. It comes in a little like eyedropper with the eyedropper application. Um, I basically just bought this because I've heard so much about it. It's for scars, stretch marks, wrinkles, um, dehydrated skin. It's supposed to help even out your skin tone. I do like it. I bought it because I do have some like uneven skin tone from when I've had um, acne and it's left kind of like the marks and pigmentation stuff. I have found that that has faded quite a bit. Um, I think with the help of this and like exfoliating and all that sort of stuff, um, they're just generally fading anyway. But I do find that this has worked and I also really like it because it makes my skin look really dewy and glowy and healthy. Um, if you have kind of like, um, what's the word, like dry, not necessarily dry, but kind of like dull, dull skin, I would recommend this. I use it in the morning with my moisturizer because it contains SPF and then also at night time. And it just makes my skin look really dewy and nice. And when I wake up in the morning, it looks really healthy and like I have kind of a natural glow. So that's the Trilogy Rose Hip Oil. I really do like it and I would recommend it if you have been thinking about getting it. It's really kind of like a lightweight oil. Like it absorbs really quickly into the skin. So I think it would work even if you have oily skin. Like it's not too full on. Next up is makeup. I'll start off with the face products that I have. Uh, the first one is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso which looks like this. Um, it's basically just a really, really pretty peachy coral colour. Um, I picked this and all of the other e.l.f. and like NYX and stuff um, products off of Beauty Joint. But this is just a really, really pretty blush. It's I didn't actually think this was going to be like um, really pigmented because a lot of the mineralised um, products that I've tried before haven't really been that pigmented, but it is super, super pigmented. Really, really nice kind of shimmery highlighting um, blush and I absolutely love it. So that's the Milani blush. And then I have the e.l.f. blush in Fuchsia Fusion, which looks like that. And then the colour looks like that. It's like a really, really nice um, fuchsia colour with kind of gold iridescence to it. Really, really pretty. I don't know if I'm wearing it today. I can't remember. Actually, I think I am. Um, but it's just a really, really pretty, nice fuchsia blush. I like my kind of darker, um, more standout-ish blushes. So I really like that. And the pigmentation is really good on these blushes as well. So... That's the Elf blush, and I've also been liking the NYX blush in Natural, which looks like this, and the colour looks like that. Just a really, really pretty, like, um, kind of like a mauvey pink colour. Um, once again, really, really pigmented, really, really nice kind of natural colour, and these um, Elf and Milani and NYX products from Beauty Joanna are all so, so cheap. I think this is probably like about 2 or $3 or something like that. Just really, really good quality um, products were really cheap so I've been loving that blush as well. Then another face product is the Essence Stay All Day Concealer 16 Hour Concealer um, which looks like this and this is in the shade Natural Beige. Um, it's just basically a concealer with sort of like the doe foot applicator and um, it's really really good for underneath my eyes and highlighting and stuff like that. It does last a pretty long time and I don't find that it creases. It has a really like weird kind of thick consistency but it does cover quite well and as I said it is quite um, good for highlighting as well since it is a, a lighter colour. I actually really do like this so I picked that up. I thought that I'd seen this before on like 
maybe Lauren Beauty's video or something like that, but maybe that was another one. But I do really like this, so that's for under eye. I don't use it on spots because it's too light for that. Um, next up, I have two eye products. The first one is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in medium, I think. Yeah, um, it has the powder there and then like a kind of gel cream consistency. Um, I've just been really liking this for my brows. Like I just, I like the colour of it. It suits me quite well. I'm not wearing it today. I'm, I'm using a pencil um, because I've been doing that lately for some reason. But I do really, really like this. Um, the colour's really good and yeah, it's just a good like eyebrow shadow. That's that. And then another one, I'm not sure if I've mentioned this before in a video, but it's the Models Refer Eyeliner. Um, and it basically just looks like this. It's just in black. Um, I don't think that they have, oh yeah, matte black cold pencil from Models Refer. Um, I got this from Priceline. This is like the only eyeliner that really stays in my waterline like throughout the day and doesn't smudge off. So I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this again. Um, it's not as expensive as like ones from Revlon and stuff like the Revlon Color Stay, but so many like black eyeliners just do not stay on my waterline and this is the only one that I found that does it. So been loving that and using that pretty much every single day. Then moving on to lip products. The first one that I've been liking is the Body Shop Lip Butter in um, the Dragon Fruit Lip Butter. And it looks like this. It's not like the original like or the normal lip butters, but it's from their foundation collection. Um, it just smells so good. I don't even know how to explain it. It just smells really fruity. Like if you are into fruity like sweet scents, go and smell the Dragon Fruit one. I'd never seen this in stores before, so when I saw it, um, I was like, oh, I have to smell that. And it just smelled absolutely amazing. I went back to it and I was like, I have to buy that. Ooh, I drop it. I always drop something. Absolutely love it. And I use this um, at night just to really moisturize my lips. It's so creamy and moisturizing. So I've been loving that. And then three lip products, all from Beauty Joint. The first one is a lipstick. From NYX, it's their matte lipsticks, which look like that, and this is in pale pink. It's just basically a really, really nice pink colour. Um, absolutely love it. It is matte, so I didn't like it at first because I was like, oh, it doesn't really, it kind of makes my lips look dry and stuff, but it really, really is nice, and um, it's a really, really nice colour. It's not as drying on the lips as I thought it was, like as I sort of wore it throughout the day. It's just a super, super nice pale pink colour, and yeah, you can wear a gloss over the top, but... I think it's fine just to wear by itself. Really, really love the colour and the formulation. It's so creamy and pigmented. Um, another lipstick is from the e.l.f. Mineral Collection, which is just their black lipstick collection, and it's in Natural Mint, <clears throat> which is just a really, really nice nude. The reason I love this is because of the formulation. It's really creamy, pigmented once again, like oh, an opaque on the lips, and also um, it's not an orangey toned nude. hate orangey toned nudes and I find a lot of them like from Revlon and Rimmel and stuff like that but this one is really really nice and it is just a really pretty beigey nude just pure nude no orangey tones to it so absolutely love that last lip product is a lip gloss from NYX just their regular lip glosses and this one is in whipped it's a really really pretty kind of just nude nude color kind of like a nudie pink um, absolutely love the formulations of these lip glosses. Once again, they're really, really pigmented and opaque, but they're not streaky or gloopy or anything like that. They just go on so nicely. Like they're the easiest lip glosses ever that you can apply. And, um, they have a really, really good color selection. And this one's just a really, really pretty nude. You can wear it by itself or you can wear it over the top of a lipstick and it just looks amazing. But the main reason I like it is because of how easy they are to apply and the formulation and they're so cheap and they're just super, super good quality. So next up, I'll move on to body products. Um, the first one that I've been liking is the Saint Tropez Bronzing Mousse in, oh, this doesn't have a, um, a shade, but it's just their Bronzing Mousse, um, which comes with the, the white can. Um, I've had this for quite a while. It, there's still quite a bit in it. It's really, really expensive. I think it's about $40, which in my opinion is expensive, but it's such a nice color. Um, and it does last for quite a while. It's just super easy to apply and I always really like the colour of it and the smell, like it smells like fake tan, fake tan at first but it actually reduces by up to 70% of the actual scent after you apply it on which I think is really good so it doesn't smell like fake tan but I just really really like the application and the colour of this when it like um, comes out and it's just, I don't know like I just really really like the colour. It's not too orangey, it's really natural looking so I have been liking this. And another one which is finished, I'm keeping this for an empties video, is the Lush Happy Hippie Shower Gel. This smells like grapefruit. 
oh, it's so sweet and really, really fruity. It just is absolutely amazing. And it's really revitalizing. Like I used to use this in the morning um, in the shower and it's so revitalizing because it's so like zesty and it just like it's so citrusy and really, really wakes you up. I um, probably wouldn't repurchase it again, but I did really like it when I was using it. Um, just because like I've used it now and I want to try other ones because I'm really not into like repurchasing um, body products all that much but I did really enjoy this when I was using it. One which I've purchased this month is my Holy Grail Body Shop um, Strawberry Shower Gel. I think I um, mentioned this in my 10 products I would repurchase tag or something like that. This smells so amazing. I just, I can't get over it. If you haven't smelled the strawberry shower gel from the body shop, go and smell it. I personally like the scent of this better than the body butter that they have. I think this is way more like invigorating and stronger. Um, but yeah, it looks like this. I just absolutely love it. I had to pick this up. I hadn't purchased this in years. Um, and when I was at the body shop a couple of weeks ago, I just thought I have to purchase it. So yeah, really, really love this product. And last um, two products. The first one is a nail polish. Um, from OPI and it's in Mod About You which is a really really pretty pale pink color this is just a really opaque pale pink it looks so pretty on the nails um, I just really wanted a nice like pale um, pink color just something quite uh, neutral not too like pink not too barley pink not hot pink or anything just a nice pink and it's really really nice and I really like the um, formulation of OPI nail polishes. So that's my favorite nail polish for this month. And then another one is um, a pair of earrings that I purchased from Colette Accessories. And I only have one just because you only need to see one. But they're these really, really pretty um, flowers, studs, with like little diamonds around the back. These are just so pretty. Like they look really, really nice on. Um, yeah, they just look really, really nice. And I love these like kind of studded earrings. Um, I just saw these and they're like really cheap. They're like $4 down from 12 or something like that but yeah really really like those so that's it for my March favorites I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will do be doing hopefully another um, favorites in April so stay tuned for that and I'll talk to you all very soon bye <music>